Summer was a real gift for my wife and me. The two-year anniversary of our marriage was approaching, and we decided to spend this special period together with my mother-in-law, who lives in a small picturesque town. Her home, surrounded by greenery and flowers, seemed like a true escape from the hustle and bustle of the city. My mother-in-law, Elizabeth, has always impressed with her incredible beauty and activity. Despite the fact that she was already 60 years old, she looked like a model from the cover of a glossy magazine. Her long hair was the color of wheat, and her eyes sparkled with clarity and cheerfulness. Her figure remained slim and trim due to her active lifestyle. She practiced yoga regularly, walked outdoors, and took care of her health. The days were spent in a relaxed atmosphere. We walked through the local forests, enjoyed the clean air and the crystal clear water of the river that flowed near my mother-in-law's house. On our morning walks Elizabeth told us interesting stories from her life, how she found the strength to survive her divorce from her husband when she was only 40 years old. We spent a lot of time on the terrace of the house, where we watched sunsets and enjoyed the view of the mountains in the distance. My mother-in-law gave us invaluable advice on how to maintain a happy marriage and how to treasure the moments spent together. Throughout the time we spent at my mother-in-law's house, she surrounded me with a very strong caring attitude. That's exactly what I thought before everything happened. Now I realized that it was much deeper than that. One day, my wife and I threw a party for my mother-in-law to celebrate our wedding anniversary. Oddly enough, a couple glasses of champagne had a very strong effect on me. We broke up at 1 o'clock in the morning and went to bed. At night I got thirsty and went to the kitchen. When I came back I went to bed, gentle arms immediately embraced me. At some point, I realized that it was not my wife, but my mother-in-law. I panicked and started to justify that I was mistaken. She calmed me down and said nothing happens that easily. We had a close relationship. Let me tell you right off the bat, I was not on top of things. I had a false start. I quickly pulled myself together and ran out of her bedroom. My bedroom was right next door. They were next to each other and the doors are the same. All the next day I walked around depressed and my eyes stared at the floor. When we were about to go to bed, Angelica came over and whispered in my ear, I'll wait for you tonight. It was scary, but I put my wife down and went to my mother-in-law's. I did much better the second time. My mother-in-law was passionate, which turned me on even more. We did it in half an hour, and then I went to my wife's bed. The last week we stayed at Angelica's, I came to her at night. After a week we left. I never had a close relationship with my mother-in-law again. A year later, 